guys, how are you doing today? So I am back with another video. Um, let me start by saying hi to my new subscribers. I only got like a couple more today or a couple days ago. Um, but let me get up real quick and change my chair. Okay, so anyways, so when I had told you guys in my last video that I had like good news, kind of bad for me, but good for you. Well, what had happened was, you see at my job, I was only a temporary. A temporary? Temporarily. I was a temp. And um, I started my job last year, like before Halloween, before October, October was it September? I think it was September. And I was only supposed to be there for 90 days. And hold on, I need some of me. I was only supposed to be there for 90 days. And um, my supervisor was like, hey, this girl's gonna be gone for six months, but she'll be back. Um, while she's gone, you know, do you wanna take her job? You know just for the six months I'm like yeah I'll take it you know whatever I can get well that girl's back and um, today is Friday for me but let me start all, all over my job I work with Americans and Germans and I'm just gonna put it out there the job is fucking bullshit not the job itself the job itself would be okay if I was working with people who are fucking happy you know how okay I get it. We all have our bad days, right? But you know, don't go to work and take it on everybody else. It's not. It's not their fault that you're having a fucking bad day every day. You know what I mean? And it got to the point that I, I, I could see like how tired I was. Just you know, in my face, I was. I was so miserable. I go to the gym. I look in the mirror. I look miserable because work was bullshit from seven o'clock to two thirty. You know what I mean? Every day, Monday to Friday. I, I couldn't do it no more. And you know, I dealt with. And of course you have like a lot of nice Germans, but there was just those ones that complain about fucking everything. Now the Germans have different rules than the Americans, um, like taking leave wise and being able to take leave for I don't know how long and getting paid so so, so long for it. And it, it's crazy. I mean, you can, you, if you were a German, you can get a job and then be working for three days and already take leave, like sick leave because you got sick, you know, or or take, take leave because you want to back to back whenever you wanted to. And um, and some of them would even talk crap about Americans. I mean, to me, I would argue with them. They would talk crap about Americans. They would talk crap about our president. They would talk about, you know, uh, Trump. Some of them were even like racial towards me because I'm like, I'm Mexican. I mean, I'm, I was born in America. I was born in Texas, but I would always get like, oh, so what's gonna happen to you when Trump becomes president and they build and he builds a wall? I'm like, what the fuck does that even mean? Because I'm Mexican. Like, I wasn't born in I wasn't born in Mexico. I'm from Texas, San Antonio, Texas. Oh yeah, baby, go first, go. But um, and usually, you know, I would just, you know, like laugh it off and stuff. But it got to a point where I'm like, okay, how much can a person take? You know what I mean? It's it's getting annoying. Um, and then there was like rumors started you know i'm training this one uh, this one friend of mine and he's gonna join the military soon hopefully you know he gets through it i'm training him um for you know getting ready for basic training well rumors it wasn't a rumor it was a fucking idiot who started to talk shit and i went to go confront him and say hey if you have something against that person let it be between y'all two but keep my fucking name out of your damn mouth and he's like oh it was such a joke it was such a joke i was joking yeah but in that workplace a joke becomes a fucking rumor and the rumors go around I'm married I don't, need, I don't need that kind of shit to be going around the rumor was that the person I'm training you know we should be having sex with each other and stuff like that like or they're probably fucking each other I'm like you fucking kidding me where I live it's this small everyone knows each other you know what I mean and the rumor can get around like that and I was so fucking mad I, and I asked them how would you feel if they were if someone was talking about your wife like that and he was like oh well, I would just laugh like it's it's ridiculous it's it's unnecessary and I, I just couldn't deal with it anymore you know what I mean like I don't have to have this job me working is for extra money and because I live in Europe you know what I mean like and there's like more changes happening exciting for all of us but that money goes to you know the traveling part you know what I mean for fun and savings of course so I was so upset I walked away from him and then I was at my two o'clock break, which is only 15 minutes, and I was speaking to somebody else. I was having a conversation with a friend of mine, and he, this guy, bald guy, walks up to me and says, are we cool? While I was talking. 
It's not like I was. I stopped talking. I looked. You know. No, I was still talking, and he was like, "So are we cool?" Like, and this guy is like, he acts like he's swag. He's half French, half German, but he acts baggy clothes. He walks with a limp, like if like if his left ankle hurts. You know, he walks like, and then he tries to pick on a lot of people, and he does pick on a lot of people, and he fucking gets away with it. You know what I mean? And it pisses me off because I just think to myself. Only if I was a man for one day, I'd knock the shit out of you. So I text my husband what happened, and he, he was like, clock out now, go home. My husband's not here. And even though I'm a tough person, I'm not a fucking crybaby, I still break. I'm still a woman, I still break. And I could handle my own, you know what I mean? I, I can go up to a guy and talk to him and be like, you need to stop without crying and all that stuff. But I haven't had my husband home for a long time. So I got a little emotional, and I'm like, you know, I can't do this. And for me, it wasn't emotional like, oh, he's picking on me. He's making... I was fucking pissed. Like, like if you would have gotten my face and I had a knife, I'd probably shank him in the stomach. It was that bad. Like, I was... Guys, you don't understand. I was so pissed because it's an everyday thing, this shit. This shit is an everyday thing. It's constant stress. And people were like, why don't you go complain? Because it's hard to do anything to these Germans. It really is. But you have... They have to, like, murder someone in order for them to fire them. The only thing that's gonna happen to them is they're gonna get a, like a write up or something. But the thing with the Germans is, and I know some of y'all are like, why are they working with Americans for? Like, why are they working together in the same environment? Because in American, you know, store or whatever, it, but it is in Germany, they had to have so much, right? But if you're working with Americans and you know you are, why the fuck are you can complain about it? about us Americans, why are you gonna talk shit about the president in the States? Why are you gonna talk crap about Trump? It has nothing to do with you. And these people, these their minds are this small. They don't, it's bigger than, it's bigger than them. They don't understand why Americans are here. It has to do with, you know, war and Germany and America and we, Americans, we are together. We are alliances, you know, we are helping each other out. These people don't understand that. They just see us like, ah, oh, Americans are fat. Uh, this one girl, that guy, that guy, that bald guy's wife is, would always say stuff like, she's German. If I was American, I, she's like, I always say this. If I was American, I'd be broken fat. Which, by the way, guys, no one says she's skinny in the first place. Just saying. I hope she's seen this. And, you know, it, it's, it's just retarded. Like, I'm American. You cannot say that kind of stuff. You're working on an American place like why would you say something so ignorant and so rude if i was american i always say this if i was american i'd be broke and fat so basically you're saying you're weak because if you, if you, if you move to america you know you'd be fat and broke or are you making fun and saying because all americans are broke and fat that's not right so um nothing nothing can happen to these people you can go talk about them or go complain all that's gonna happen is they're gonna bring them into their room what's going on Oh, it was just a joke. Okay, let's not have that happen again. I mean, that's it. But I have an anger issue. I'm too old for this. I'm a mother. I'm a wife. So I had to just walk away. Because, you know, and this is what I told a friend of mine. One of these days, these people are going to come across someone who has nothing to lose. Or has a really bad anger issue. What's going to happen when she decides to go up to an American woman who has nothing to lose, who has really bad anger issues and says, if I was American, I'd be fat and it gets knocked out. They punch her in the damn face. Or her husband making fun of someone for being weak or bullying somebody or saying, you know, oh, they should definitely have sex and stuff like that. And my husband, what if my husband didn't have anything to lose? And just came straight up to the guy who stands around like this all day, doesn't do anything physical, stands around like this, tries to walk off, he walks like this with the big clothes and everything, gets knocked the fuck out. What's going to happen then? You know what's going to happen? Either my husband gets in really big trouble because what he does is his job is very important compared to someone who just sells DVDs and stereos. You know what I mean? Long story short, because I was already nine minutes long. Um... My job is bad. I've never worked in a workplace where people are so fucking evil, where people are so damn mean and, you know, two-faced. 
you know, it was so bad to face. I'm the type of person, if you have something against me, I'm going to confront you and you're going to like me. We're going to fucking get along. You're going to smile at me in the morning because today's a beautiful fucking day. We both woke up. We're both walking. We both see, hear, touch, feel. I am glad that the heavens let me wake up today, right? I come to work and you have a bad attitude every fucking day. I walk in. Hey, how you doing? And they're like, that's like the faces I get. And I am the type of person, I'll be like, what's the matter with you today? Why do you have that face? Oh, no, it's just my bitch face. And this is seriously what one lady's told me. She said, it's my bitch face. She's like, I do it. So when a customer sees me, and if I make that face, they won't bother me because they know like I'm pissed off. Or I do it so some of the workers don't bother me. And I'm like, customers is what makes our place, right? They make the business. They're the ones that give us the money so that way we can still continue to work. How are you going to say I make that face so the customers will come up to me? What the fuck? <sighs> Sorry, guys. I'm venting, but that's what happened. I'm no longer working. I am still trying to look for a job. So this is why I said to you guys in my last video, this is not a good thing for me, but an amazing thing for you because that means more videos. I'm home all day. I do the cleaning. I do the cooking. Um, I leave to the gym around 2-ish o'clock, 2.30-ish o'clock, and then I go pick up my son because I wasn't given notice. I was supposed to give like a two-week notice or something like that. Of um, They were supposed to let me know that they were letting me go, and they didn't. But one of the guys there had my back, and he gave me a paper, and the download was like, look, the boss was supposed to give you notice that he was going to let you go because my other bosses and supervisors were telling me they wanted to keep me when that girl got back. They wanted to keep me for another job. But the big, big, big boss was like, no, we're not doing good right now, blah, blah, blah. So because I wasn't given a notice, I had to pay an extra two weeks for daycare. Do y'all guys know how much that is? That's one of my paychecks. That's how expensive daycare is. Which is fine because my son gets to go on field trips or whatever. So they have fun. But for me, that sucked. Because I had to pay an extra two weeks of daycare, which I gave us a lot of money. But anyways, guys, um, excuse me for venting, but thank you for listening to me. Um, I don't know what y'all guys think in the bottom. Was I stupid for leaving early? Did, did I overreact? You know, um, I feel like I didn't overreact. I feel like this guy was being extremely rude and very disrespectful to me as a, first of all, as a human being, as an employee, as a wife, as a woman, as a mother. You know, to be saying stuff like that, and you know, that could easily, like I said, start rumors. So, um, but so for the question, the QA part two, I accidentally did not record it because I'm a fucking idiot. I probably got too excited. So, I'm gonna have to go, I'm gonna load this one up for now, but I'm gonna have to go back and look at my QA part one to see who was the last person I, you know, was responding back to, and then I have to make a new one. Um, also, I got a message that some of y'all guys want me to make a mukbang, mukbang video. It's an eating show, like an eating show video. I can definitely do that, honey, because I definitely can eat. Okay. Um, a tongue ring video, another video on my car, because, again, that one was kind of stupid. And uh, just, guys, let me know what kind of more videos y'all want to see, okay? Uh, I would really appreciate it if you give me, like, you know, a good video that I would enjoy doing, you know, or questions or whatever. So if you have any questions, you have any comments, leave them in the bottom because I always, I always, always, always respond to you guys. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and um, I will see you soon. Okay. And I hope you all guys have a great day or night and I love you all. Bye. <laughs>